are live here at Shepherd's Fashions at the train yards. Today we were talking about scarves. We've got tips and tricks and styling for you. This is about how to style up a scarf. Not just how you tie it, but how we like to see it styled. So we're showing you um, some tunics, which you might have seen on Saturday's video, which was mm -hmm. fantastic, Elaine. Oh, yes. Yeah, you did a great job. Everybody Thank you. looked amazing. And the tunics were a huge, huge, huge positive success. Mm -hmm. Everybody loved them. And they're a one size, so what's not to love about that? And of course, they came in the most beautiful colors. What, six or seven colors? Eight colors. Eight colors. Mm -hmm. So that's always nice, too, because then you get to pick which ones you like the best. So exactly. we like um, the neckline on these tunics uh, to style with a scarf because <clears throat> it's open. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. It's an open neckline. So it's easy to put a scarf on with it. We are um, carrying some new scarves. Maybe you haven't seen them before. It's from uh, a collection that we've carried for many, many years. Um, and we brought them back again because they are wool and silk, so they have a warmth to them, but they have the softness with the silk. And you can see how beautifully they pair with the tunics. So, this is the NYDJ cord. I'm wearing the size 12 in the cord. Um, fits perfectly, very, very comfortable. You could, if you're petite, you may have to hem these a little bit because the NYDJ tend to be a little bit longer. And then of course the tunic in the chocolate brown, mm -hmm. which um, chocolate brown is a great neutral, pairs beautifully with almost everything. It looks great with black or creams or orange or khaki, tan, just about anything. So it looks really pretty paired with the jean, but what ties the whole look together is the scarf. So you can see that it has all of the colors that I'm wearing. And then of course this beautiful red and tans, a little bit of blue. I will show you the scarf so you can see the pattern. The colors are just so, so exquisite. Yeah, it's very, very rich. Mm -hmm. So painterly. Yeah, it does kind of look like painting. Look at that. So can you see all That's of beautiful. that? beautiful. Yeah, so it could go to denim because you've got some of the blues. You've got all these beautiful reds. Can you see it clearly, Deborah? Oh, yeah. And yeah. that's called the Loves Everywhere scarf. Loves Everywhere, okay. So it's very pretty. It's just a long oblong, as you can see. So you've got lots of scarf to tie, which yeah. is beautiful. And a great place to go on to look for scarf tying trips is on uh, Pinterest. Yeah. So before the show, you know, kind of jumped on there and looked for some ideas. There's Pinterest, uh, there's YouTube it has a wealth of scarf YouTube tying has tricks some also. great videos, yeah, yeah if you search it. And I just wanted to show the blanket. So, yes. is that a sneak peek? It's a sneak peek. So this, I just wanted to talk to you really quickly about these beautiful throws that we have got in. They are lovely, beautiful colors. They're from Fraz, which is our German scarf company. And I'm doing a little at-home video with some tips on how to style them on uh, Thursday. So um, you'll be able to see the whole collection. There's six. six different styles and you'll be able to see this on uh, Thursday's video and like I said I'll be styling them at home so I hope uh, you will join me and, and have a look yes and please join Kirsten because she's really an expert in styling she's <laughs> amazing she's got such a great style and taste with her interior decor and other stuff also but yeah it's my, kind of fun though you would to... love you would love you would learn a lot yeah, it's fun to do so it at do home too. It. It's a little yeah. easier than Kirsten. doing it here because we don't have a sofa to put them on. So we wanted to see different ways you could style these up, but they're very, very cozy, perfect for this time of year. So there we go. Okay. Good cool. morning, Elaine. Good morning, Deborah. Good How are morning. You? I'm very well. How are you? I'm good, thanks. So Marlene is absent today. I think she has a, do a dentist appointment. So uh, thank you for subbing in behind yes. the camera, Deborah. I'm happy to help. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. Okay, so scarf styling. Well, we wanted to do some interesting color combinations, mm -hmm. as you saw on Kirsten. And I'm doing something a little more subtle because I feel that that is what this new scarf from Loves Per Life somewhat dictates. So. This is a scarf that has poppies in it, so just quite lovely for Remembrance Day. Tomorrow, uh, pardon me, today, 
reminding you is November 2nd, so Remembrance Day is fast approaching. And um, so I wanted to do a scarf and a necklace, okay? Two accessories that you do not want to leave in your closet, in your drawer. You want to wear them. You want to have fun with them. So I am wearing that same kerchief tunic that you saw on Tristan, but this time in black. I did it with the Tricado jegging in the khaki color, and then I did some assorted pearls here that kind of reprise the khaki, right? So really yeah. working on color combinations here. I know, and it's great that the, the leather on the pearls ties in with the khaki, and it works so well. Yes. So you could do anything you want beneath it, I guess, right? And exactly. it would just tie that in really, really nicely, very easily, yeah. So I do love the bracelet, and it's a magnetic closure, but I'm going to remove it just because I want to manipulate the scarf. And Deborah, this is one of Love's this, like new exactly. scarves. Exactly. It's called the Satisfaction Field of Dream Scarf. Oh. It's beautiful. It's, you know, Love's Girl Light. We all know Sydney scarves. They're beautiful. They're 70% modal and they're 30% yes. silk. Mm -hmm. So they feel exquisite. They, she actually paints them and make, turns them into scarves. And she's just such a lovely, lovely lady. So she is. we're very, very happy and proud to have a scarves here. Full of brightness and joy. Absolutely. So this is how I like to work with those scarves. They are really quite big. They are long and they're kind of a square shape. So I like to um, fold them in two lengthwise, okay? And then you get that beautiful fringed border, which she is known for. So you see the intense coloration here. Mm -hmm. And then there's a little house, the house on the prairie. Yeah. Just one yes. question from someone. The price of yes. the Love's Pure Light scarves are $174, okay? okay? And the dimensions are 55 inches by 70 inches. So Wonderful. Okay, so then again, so you have, and I will, I'll, maybe I'll, I'll show you the full scarf because what we wanted to do today is show you the scarves, but what better way to do so than to style them up. So sometimes you just want to drape it like so. And again, you know, you, so you're just creating a fashion statement here with the scarf. You will not believe how lightweight this is. That's the beauty of these pieces. And again, so don't keep them in the drawer. So from here, just take it, shorten your side, drape it. And I like to be very considerate of the neckline. I don't like them like this. Some women wear them like that and they're great. I like, because I have a fullness here, I like to kind of release the scarf a little bit, uh, enhance the neckline. And that's why I like this top in particular with the scarves. Isn't it a great canvas it is. to do? It is. It really is. This, this, this is such a versatile top. Yes. You know, you can really do oh my stuff God. with it. Wear it with leggings, wear it with jeans, yes. wear it with the little extender. And it's, it's beautiful. And in yep. fact, you will see it with leggings today. Now, how is this? This is the scarf. In all its glory. In all its glory. Okay, ta da! Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it is. Right? It's beautiful. And the colors are beautiful, not too vibrant. There's a subtlety here, and again, it just goes beautifully to neutrals. So, voila. There we go. Thank you, Elaine. Thank you. Good morning, good ladies. How are, how are you, Debbie? Good, thanks. How are you? Good, good. So, ladies, I am uh, showing you the same top as all of us are wearing today, and this is called Rose. Or pink. Rose or pink, gals? Which it's called pink. Pink? Okay. Yeah. But it does take on a, a very, very light, uh, very light rose color. Like a dusty like a, rose. A dusty rose. It's, yeah, it's a dusty rose, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is how it fits on me. They're one size. I'm I wear a size 12. Um, so just to give you a, 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 a bit of an indent here, it, it does give have a bit of a princess line, which works well with someone who doesn't have a, um, a shape, which is me being a rectangle. So it just defines it a little bit more, comes out over the hips, and um, it's a one size. Yeah. So and it works on most body types. It yeah. works on like if you're a pair, you know, <laughs> if you're straight. Right. It kind of works on most people, and it's been a really, really popular. Very top, popular. Right? Very popular. So I'm wearing it with the Love's Pure Light scarf. Um, I'm wearing it the way Elaine had put it on for her first piece. And um, just a, a tip that if you have a, a part on the side of your head. Try and remember to put the long part of your scarf that's going around your neck. Drape it down that same side, and then this this just flows around your neck to give you this part of a, of a softness to your hair and your whole structure. That's a great tip, Laurie. So this is the, the Love's Pure Light. Deb, I think you have that I think that's the water one. lily scarf. Is that the white? Yes. So yes. That, that's the white water lily scarf. So I got it going. It's called Pure Heart. 
So this is, I don't know if you can get the same color tones, but it's a very, very deep purple. Okay, very, very deep purple with these beautiful lilies. And uh, it's got shades of dark blue. It's got mm -hmm. the turquoise and some pinks. So it's beautiful. if you want to come and up just a little closer, Laurie, so we can see the sure. shape. Yeah, you perfect. See? Yeah. Okay. And then so we just uh, folded it in the rectangle style. And, uh, and then it was just draped around a few times. And well... I'm not putting it on the way Elaine had it, but this is could be. But a there's a so style. many different ways to style it, right? That's what that's what the great about right. these scarves. You can have fun with it, and you can bring out the color that you want, right? Yeah. I mean, when you had it on earlier, there were different colors showing. Yeah, and now, I had it more of a pleated yeah. fashion, mm -hmm. just folded and folded and folded. This one, I just took it and just rolled it basically yep. and put it around my neck okay yep. it's a beautiful scarf and everyone who's i can see all the comments here all of them are saying the lpl scarves are simply gorgeous i love my love to your light scarf right all these beautiful comments on that so thank you and i'm wearing it with the not your daughter's jeans um and these are the sherry slim they're the size 12 they're my own but we do obviously and that's the them. size you normally wear that's right the, yeah, a 12. that's correct the 12 yeah. and the mm -hmm. sherry slims okay thanks thanks laurie hi good sandra morning. good morning Hello, Deborah. So I'm wearing the same thing like what they wore before, but this is the magenta color. And that looks beautiful on you. The magenta is really nice. And, and Sandra is a petite. Yes, and I'm 5'2", and I'm wearing size 2 or size 4, and I'm carrying with this, the new spanner leggings. That is are these the cozy knit leggings? Yes. Yeah, and, and are they cozy? Uh, yes, indeed, yes, cozy. Okay. <laughs> so the, this is the my trick about this scarf. That looks beautiful, Sandra, the way you've done it. I love yeah. it. It's different and it's it's really framed your face so mm -hmm. beautifully. So I think that's a great so you're gonna to teach us how trick. to do it. Sure. Yeah. Let me remove everything now. So the scarf that Sandra's wearing is the wool scarf again. It's got it's ninety percent wool and it's got ten percent silk. It's called a rose garden scarf, okay? And if you Show want to know you. the dimensions on the scarf, this scarf is eighty inches by twenty nine inches. It can be hand washed cold and you can lay it flat to dry. Okay. It, this is the color. It's beautiful. Again, color. just an assortment of shades of pinks and magentas mm -hmm. and blue. Really, really nice scarf and you know, which is gonna be quite versatile, I think. So you just fold two and then you just start in another fold. Okay, so you and double fold it. Fold. Yeah. Okay, or triple okay. fold it. Yeah. Just fold it, okay? So just put in your the trick is the secret is Okay, that's what you need, a little yeah. elastic. Yeah, yeah, elastic for your hair. So. Okay, Sandra. Sandra's great at tying scarves. Okay. Sandra and Nelly are our scarf experts. And then, okay, okay just pull them back. Take it back around, yeah. Do you know what is it? And through, it back. okay, from the top into the face, into the yeah. into the bottom and there we go and then you have to and then you it. fluff it up a little bit to make it work for fluff it and hide the like little scarf or the, the little tie up yeah that's amazing sandra that's so pretty it is really pretty it, wow. it just frames your it's face so beautifully then, you know if you feel cold you just tie it if you if, if you want it looser you can yeah. open it up a little and more yeah that's yeah. a great tip, Sandra. Thank <laughs> okay, you so much. Can you. you just give us your sizes again, what you normally are and what you're, oh, I, you're wearing I'm, all one I'm, size, I'm right? Two. I'm wearing between size two and four. And so the top is... if you is want to see, this is the look on me. Yeah, and the color is the magenta that magenta, Sandra is wearing with yeah. the navy, and the navy. Oh, leggings. Yes. Perfect. Thank okay, you, Sandra. Thank you. Okay. So I'm back and okay. I have the same pants on, which is the NYDJ, the corduroys, um, yeah. in this gorgeous kind of burnt orange color. I'm wearing the size 12 in these. And then of course the one size two pocket tunic, which is kind of in this oatmeal, which is a beautiful neutral. Again, it's very nice on blondes. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's and really you mix it back to cream, yeah. which is also very, very pretty. Mm -hmm. And again, this is just the one size tunic. I would say that this fits up to a 14, yeah. um, maybe a 16, and only because it has a slimmer arm. Exactly, um, yes. So mm -hmm. the arm doesn't have a lot of room in it. It does feel slim. I mean, it's not uncomfortable or anything like that, but I think if you went up and you had a bigger arm, 
um, it might not look right and uh, you might not feel comfortable it will be too tight there's lots of room down here for sure for sure so, yeah yeah mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I'm five foot seven and you can see where the length is on me and then this is again another one of our uh, wool and silk scarves this is Venice yeah and what I've done is just kind of I've done a roll around the neck and then so that it's not quite as fluffy this way yes so exactly. this kind of mm -hmm. pairs it down sometimes mm -hmm. it bothers me when things are too fluffy and I'm fussing with them all the time this feels almost like a necklace yeah that's on. true it's like a little piece yeah. of jewelry out exactly. there exactly yeah. it just rolls I've covered the neckline you can't see any um, skin on the sides it's exactly the length of the neck and then it just hangs down just a little bit so bringing your eye down the center which is a great tip always a body shape tip to elongate, elongate you. you exactly um, but it stops the fluffiness so if you say you know I'm not a scarf person I find them fussy or it's too fluffy I can't stand anything around my neck um, doing this roll kind of changes that and the other great thing I find about scarves is sometimes at least I find when I find a color that does not suit me but right. I love the color yes I can change it up completely and take away the color from my face by wearing a scarf that works with my That's face and ties it in yes. so keep that in mind ladies you can always change the color that's against your face right. by wearing by a scarf manipulating exactly the scarf. yeah mm -hmm. so let me take this off so all I did was I just kept so this is a rolling. scenic Venice scarf yes again from the wool and silk collection right mm -hmm. yes so this one I just did this way and then I rolled it around here we go look how yeah, pretty you that can is. first take a look at Venice on the scarf Isn't that yes. pretty mm -hmm. that's beautiful the Grand Canal yeah Grand, the Grand Canal. Canal and again you have lots of colors in here even this would take you into spring and summer and I like the length of these because, again, they're not overwhelming. You can easily manipulate them around your neck, not to feel quite as big. So for this one, all I did was I went this way. Again, like Sandra's, oops. You want this to be even. I pull it down a bit to where I want it. And then I start rolling with each one around the sides hard to see here are two rolls oh, you're on doing each. a great job two rolls going this way keep pulling the tag and while off. you're talking i have a question someone wants to know if these are love spiolite scarves no. the wool are not love spiolite scarves okay and there we go so it just creates just have to take, look take a quick look in the mirror yeah, yeah so it, it just looks creates great. a roll no fluffiness and they're not Love's Pure Light, no. The quality of these is excellent. This is just from a company that we've carried for many, many, many years. Deborah probably remembers these in the store years ago. In the Rideau too, yes, I yeah. do remember and that. And they always yeah. do the same uh, similar uh, patterns, but not exactly the same year to year. They change them up and obviously change the colors with the seasons and yeah. they're just a great scarf. Very lightweight, you know, very even light. though they're wool. Yeah, they're I don't very lightweight. This. They feel good against the skin. Yeah, and, and they're warm enough that you could wear them with your winter coat and you could wear them indoors, whichever you prefer. Exactly. Guess and again, just the size of your, the NYDJ? 12. 12, okay. 12. And you're normally a 12 too, right? Always a 12 in NYDJ. In one, perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Call okay. me a Spice Girl, because that, that is what I'm wearing. Tell me what you want. <laughs> what you really want. Oh, oh Deborah, good comeback. Uh, Ooh, yeah. <laughs> This is a good Tuesday morning. Okay, and the sun is shining, which is uh, why you can see that on the set a little bit. But anyway, okay, so I've got the spice top on. I've kept to the same khaki uh, jegging, and I'm wearing the size large in this. Can you believe? <laughs> a few weeks ago, I was a medium, and now the large fits like <laughs> too much past the back. Yeah, mm -hmm. but they look good, Elaine. <laughs> Doesn't matter what size you are, and it looks great on you, right? Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I still can fit into my medium at home. I just don't sit in them. <laughs> uh, I stay standing. <laughs> if you okay. stay standing all day, you'll fit into your that's, medium anyway. That's right. So I will start dancing later on too. Uh, oh, okay. So this is another one of the wool silk scarves, okay, that we have brought in. And this one is an abstract print. And what I like to do is I like to wear it just on one shoulder. Um, 
I think this was very, it, the glory days of this style, I think was in the 80s. Yes, it was, yeah. Right, with the shoulder pad and you would do this. And to me, I don't know, I just found there was always something so elegant about that look. What I like about this is that the texture of the scarf and the texture of the top work very well together, so they kind of stay in place. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. now, if you wanted to make sure they stay in place, you can also add a Maggie's magnet there, one or two, yes. and then mm -hmm. you really can dance and move and groove. Yeah. But um, so this is the str I will show you the full extension of the scarf. But and while it's I have called it, the yeah. abstract rainbow scarf, if you're looking Ooh. for it, and ladies, you will find yes. all this on our collection, which is called As Seen on Social Media. Yes, right, Elaine? that's right. So on look the, for these things on that yes, collection. Yes, please do on our website, shepherdsfashions.com, okay? So from this formation, uh, what I would like to do is I can show you a few things that I do here, okay? So I like to take this, I give it a soft twirl, and then I bring it over, and I mentioned that I like to keep the scarves kind of away from the neckline, that's how I prefer things. And then I'm going to take the edge which is at the back, and I'm okay. going to bring it back up. So I just like that kind of different fold that the, the back becomes prominent here at the front. And then I do like the kind of teardrop edge to this. this the scarf is squared off, but you can create this. You can this. create the little narrowness okay. at the bottom. This scarf is perfect for the, spi for the spice colored it is. top. It works so beautifully with it. And of course with fall, you know, the colors are just and, and very flattering too. Is this not the season for spice colors? Is oh, this not for the sure. fall season? Exactly. Like they're so prominent, they are back in town in a big way. Uh, so again, khaki, spice, and, and voila. Now I will show you what the scarf looks like and how I achieve this diagonal shape. So here is the full extension of the abstract. Okay, and as you can see, it's because it's not a lustrous texture, again, it will stay put against your knits, which is so nice, okay? So all you wanna do to create that diagonal is take it from one edge like this, lengthen it, okay? And then you're going to kind of grab onto the center here and kind of minimize it. And there you go, now you have that pointed edge and that is where you can start to play and again, start from my very beginning formation. It's yep. as easy as that. Right. I just have a question. Somebody asked if the Venice scarf is being shown here already, live deliciously, li live deliciously. We have shown the Venice scarf already yes, on Kirsten. That's the scarf Kirsten just had on. Yes, okay? and we will show it again. And the price point on this scarf is $89 for those who are wondering what it is. And okay, so <clears throat> I'm in the teal, the teal uh, tunic top. Um, I think the teal is great for um, a light haired person, like be it blonde or gray or a soft tone because it is a, a rather yeah. dark color, but I find it pops when you have a lighter hair yep. color. It looks beautiful on Teresa, this, this color. Yes, it looks yes. amazing on her. Again, it's called the teal. And I'm wearing it with the Love's Pure Light scarf. I have it here, Deborah. Oh, okay. It's called Seven Angels with Seven Trumpets. And I will show you, show you the look of this scarf. So what I've done here <clears throat> is I've just, I'll show you how I achieved this in a minute, but I wanted to sh tell you that I've just draped it across my shoulder and I've half, half the rectangle, draped it across my shoulders and I have enough going on on my hips, okay? I'm not like, I'm like Elaine, I don't like a lot of things around my neck that are too tight. I find I get a, sort of claustrophobic with that. So I tend to wear my scarves loose and or in a shawl. And with the tie in the knot across the, the center, it just brings everything down and right down to my to my um, to my middle. I don't have any other jewelry on. I don't think I need any other jewelry. I have the earrings on. The earrings yeah, are the by earrings. Fran Green. They're, her colors are matching perfect with these tops. We they um, do. That Sandra really and I were wearing them so before, perfectly. and you'll see these on the website. Um, and anyway, so this is the scarf. It's really a pretty scarf. You yeah, can wear you this want to with open mold. up the scarf completely yep. so they can take a look at it. It's there's a, there's it's a very light mauve. There's a very light peach in here. Sorry, this is a. They're so fine and yeah. they're so delicate. Again, they're seventy percent modal and thirty percent silk. Oh my gosh! And I feel like I'm opening up a bag at the grocery store. I can't get it. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Oh my gosh! I was there we go. All the time. Finally. 
Okay, uh, where are we here? Yeah. There's the trumpet. Can you see the it's, trumpets? Yeah. So it's there's beautiful. seven. There's, there's one in the middle and three down numbers. each side. It's gorgeous scarf. It really, the colors are beautiful. Yeah. There's a little vibrancy to it, but it's still so it's subtle. Got a little bit of royal blue. But it's still so subtle and beautiful. So, so basically, it's just, it's just, uh, it's just matched corner to corner, and it's just the long format. And I just took it and draped it over my shoulders, brought it together each side, left over right, that's how you begin to make a bow, left over right, and uh, there you go. And you can make it however however long you want it. And I think the, the colors in this are absolutely yeah, beautiful. Yeah, the whole really thing pulling. works so well, the earrings, the top, the scarf. Again, I've got jeans on, it all together, it's okay so. to wear jeans, you don't have to have the fancy pants. <clears throat> and I think the color in, in, in the scarves is a, a, a simple but really elegant to just perfect for sure yeah. definitely okay. yeah. thank you Laurie hi again hi Sandra so I'm wearing um pink I mean pink like what um Laurie wore before right so I'm wearing with my legging my legging okay yeah from this from Spanner yeah and this gray is the color. charcoal or is it called gray the leggings I think it's gray okay yeah. so I'm five two so this is how it look in five two person <laughs> and it looks great on a person who's five feet two too. Yeah, it's beautiful, and I, I just love the combination of mm -hmm. the pink and the grays together with the scarf. It just is all so subtle and soft and very gentle on the eye, and still very pleasing. The secret, the scarf. This is called pretzel. Okay, okay. that's the way we t and that's the pretzel knot. I yeah, guess. pretzel yeah. knot. Yes. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's very easy. So first of all, I'm going to show you the scarf. So this again, ladies, is the scarf that's the rectangular. It's 80 inches by 29 inches. It's 90% wool mm -hmm. and 10% silk. And a reminder that it costs $89, which is a great price point on this, I think. And the scarf is very warm. Yes, it is. Yeah. Definitely. So we just fold, try it, fold like this. Okay. Okay. So, but now you need to go slower sandra yeah okay so this is must be the left one is short it depends on you one of them must be short and one of them must be long and then you just do the loops once around your neck here yeah. with your left hand put the loop put it through the loop there it. yeah mm -hmm. this is good for the winter because yeah. it's really keep everything stick together yeah, this is good for people like you and me who are always cold and so we want our neck protected so it's cozy yeah. around the neck and your hands are free and so looks this beautiful. Is, yeah, and it's very strong actually. And I mean, um, I think I have a customer asking for me how to do it. Um, I said that and she said that she love it. It is, it's really a nice way mm -hmm. of putting it and it stays in place, it doesn't move. You can twist it to the side a little bit if you want so it like looks this. a little different, mm -hmm. you know, and so yeah. Yeah, and it's I a have nice another way. trick also. I think I have the, the Love's Pure Light, this one? one, yeah. Yes. Thank you, thank you so much. So, so this is the Love's Pure Light scarf and it's called The Woman Can Tread. Oh. So let's take a look yeah. at that scarf, Sandra, please. Sure. Um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You see, you have a red all Thank anchored you. by the shoes. The red shoes. Yeah. yeah. It's really this is kind of a Picasso. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. So, it's got yes. some really nice colors in there. It's got the dark colors, but it also has a vibrant red and the fuchsia in there too. So I just make like a triangle here. Okay. Okay. Not so close. Just That's fine. Shoes. It doesn't have to be perfect. So, what I do here is, okay. <coughs> okay, Sandra. So I just fold again. And you can and just- And then into a little bow. Yeah. yeah. But the secret is just put under. So it's just keeping you fluffy like this. Oh, that's nice. And then now it brings out all the, the vibrant all, colors all the color there. Could, yeah. Oh, that's very pretty, Sandra. Depend, you know, depend of what you like. 
Yeah. Maybe Definitely. Like this better. Or maybe like this. It's as you choose, it's right? You. It's, it's up to you. And the nice but, uh, thing about this is it's away from the neck. So people who don't like the fullness on the neck, mm -hmm. that's a great way to tie it. So and it elongates color. your neck. And the color. Yeah. You can mm -hmm. see all the color in this cup. You don't yeah. hide the color. Exactly. That's what I want to show. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Sandra. Okay. So okay. this is yeah. all a denim look. So it's the, uh, the navy uh, tunic which is a great basic, and it's hard to find a really great navy sweater. This is a beautiful blue, because it's a true navy. It is. It's and it pairs beautifully with just the simple blue jean, you know, and that's all you really need. Yeah. And then, of course, a scarf. And I have to say, I have to be honest, I'm not a huge scarf person. Um, I have a few select scarves that I always wear, and I wear those over and over again with different things. I always wear a scarf with my winter coat. I feel... Um, that it just needs that little bit of something to break it up and it needs a bit of color in the winter time. Yeah. But I like mm -hmm. to have a few select scarves to go with some things that I find a little bit too plain or you know, just to break up for wearing a necklace all the time to something a little bit different. And I also find it a little more casual. So like on the weekend, instead of putting a sweater like this on with a necklace, I might feel, you know, yeah, I'm just going to the grocery point. store. Yeah. <laughs> but I will put a scarf on with it and wear yeah. the scarf so it adds a little bit of color to my face. So I think it's important, even if you're not a scarf wearer, mm -hmm. just to pick one or two scarves, keep them in your wardrobe, pieces that go with a lot of different things, pieces that you love because they're almost like art where they it's kind of speak to your heart because of the art. colors or the patterns. Yeah. So this one is perfect paired with the denims. It's, it's really, great, really pretty. It's such a great it's look perfect. for a denim scarf. It is. It's for it a is. denim outfit. I mean, yeah, so if you're a really casual girl and you don't wear a lot of scarves, this is one that you can wear with your jeans, which is great. I'll show you what it looks like. So you can see it's almost all denim-y with a little bit of the reds and yellows, a bit of this coral. Mm -hmm. So again, it has almost like a paint splatter look to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can see that when you kind of scrunch it up, you know, we always do this when we're buying scarves. This is how we hold them. So we can see what they look like folded because you're rarely going to wear it all open. Most of the time you're gonna wear it like this. So when you're looking at a scarf, that's how you wanna see it because it's the colors all that you're gonna see really. Yes. And this is called the splash of color scarf. And if it you're is. For it. Your okay. splash of color I think is the coral on this and it's got greens, and, but it, you can see how beautifully it really does pair back to denim. So if yes. you're thinking, well, I'm not a scarf person, I'd like to get a scarf, but I don't know. This is a good one. Anything that pairs back to your jeans is a yeah. good one because you can you wear get, it casually. And you I get think so that's much important. use of it, right? Yeah. Because I think these days jeans has become... Je jeans have become a staple. I mean, these are my jeans that I'm wearing. I wore these to work today. Yesterday I had white jeans on. I mean, we're wearing jeans so much right now. It's mm -hmm. kind of replaced oh, yeah. our dress pants for a little while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is also, gosh, how beautiful. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. It's tulips. I love tulips. Look at this. Isn't that something? That is really, really wow. beautiful. That's tulips really pretty. Tulips and lilies on the bottom. On the bottom. Mm -hmm. And that's the hand paint brush flower scarf. That's so pretty. It is. So again, this pairs beautifully um, with a jean, and you might want to keep this one relatively simple the way that you tie it, just because. That way you can see all the colors. This would make a great gift for the gardener in your family. Wouldn't Somebody it? who's passionate about gardening. This oh, would be, be a beautiful, beautiful... even to give this and then some se seeds exactly. or something, or some would, tulip bulbs yeah, with it. Ladies, that would yeah. be a gorgeous gift. Don't forget, you can drop hints, ladies. This is the time of That's the year right, to start is, dropping a hint. the time to drop a hint. I have to say, though, I got an email from Laurie Canna, who said she dropped a hint for some Christmas presents for her husband. And he bought it already for her, yes. which was oh, so nice. I'm glad you enjoy those cards. Those men are coming in here Christmas Eve. Yeah, I so know. That's really good. This, was, this came way before Christmas. Wow. So it's already a present, oh, so she can nice. continue to drop hints. That's really nice. Yeah. But yeah, so this is a beautiful one again. Pairs back to denim, pairs back to your jeans. I think this one is um, not even seasonal. You could wear this all year. And yeah. it would be a beautiful gift for a gardener with some tulip bulbs exactly. and just wrap all that up would be gorgeous. And yeah. Quite a nice surprise too. I know. Yeah. Stunning. It looks beautiful on you, Kirsten. Okay, okay so this is my last outfit and I'm wearing the magenta in the in the uh, beautiful tunic tops. 
and I've uh, worn the, not your daughter's jeans, uh, Sherry Slim, and these are the black. So I did change into the black, size 12. Uh, NYDJ jeans fit great on me in a 12. So there's no problem there. So the, t the scarf that I have put on, do you have that name? Yes, it's called This Is Timeless. Beauty in Its Time. Right. The Love Spear Light scarf. Mm -hmm. So I'm just wearing it almost like what you would call this, sort of like a horse collar, I think. This is what it reminds me of that, you know, it just kind of drapes around the horse's neck. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm using it as a piece of jewelry, okay? Instead of, uh, instead of a, a scarf to keep me warm, I'm going to um, accessorize it as a piece of jewelry. So I've just opened it up, just to give you a, and I took the rectangle part, so it, it's just in this long format, okay? And I just, squinched it all together <clears throat> and put it around my neck and then when it's around your neck that's that's when you can play with it so I what I did is I I brought out the the black part of it so it re it came straight down I don't know if you can see me doing that but there's a black yes, part to can. this yeah. just mm -hmm. to bring out my pants and then I just did a little a little knot keeping the knot very low so keep the knot low and then just go over top of the knot, bring it through, and you have a knot on with ends on both sides. And then you can just play with this part. You can fluff up to get the pink, as yeah. the same color as the magenta, not pink, but uh, the wine color on the scarf. Anyways, it's, it's just a little accent feature. Um, yes, there's a lot of fabric here because I have crunched it all together, but that's okay. It, Love's Pure Light scarves are literally light. Like, yes. They're not and like a satin that, that makes you hot. They're a very light scarf, so it's hard And the to great thing about it is that even though it's so voluminous, it can pare down to nothing just by mm -hmm. the way you fold it or roll it. So this scarf actually ha is a painting of, of South Africa's national flower, the King Protea. Ah. I don't know if you notice it. Okay, when I'm going to open, open it again. Maybe you, you want to show it to them. This back up. Okay, so I'll yeah. just uh, give you So they can take a look at sure. this. National flower of South Africa. The colors are gorgeous, aren't they? They're Look beautiful. At that. Look at those colors. Oh. oh my gosh. It's really stunning. It's the King Protea. Oh, yeah. It's very, which very is such pretty. a lots of lime unique greens in colorful there if you wanted to wear it. It's, it's really scarf. gorgeous. Very, very pretty scarf. And of course, all of Love's Pure Lights scarves do have a little message written Absolutely. all across, all around the outer edge yes. of their scarves. And it's a, usually a very personal message that you can take to heart. Yeah, and, she um, really does a great job, Sydney, of, of adding a very, very inspirational, mm -hmm. personal message, which is So really if you're giving these scarves to a friend or as a gift, with her assorted um, uh, scarves, sometimes there's a very uh, personal message for that person that you will yeah. see in her, mm -hmm. in her scarves. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So Thank you, Laurie. Thanks. Hello. Oh, <laughs> so Sandra's wearing the Nimi Nimi scarf. Yes, yeah. I'm mm -hmm. wearing black, all black. Yeah, which is the great, leggings, yeah. Spanner mm -hmm. leggings and my childhood. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> so, um, this is a thing called Nimi Nimi. Nimi Nimi. Oh, Nimi. Nimi Nimi. <laughs> and this is the November scarf because yes. the poppy was the first flower to bloom above the graves of mm -hmm. soldiers in Flanders fields and this scarf has the poppy. So it's a very special scarf for this time of the year. So this is another trick that I'm gonna show with you. So I want you to see first that there's a loop here. Did you see the loop, the difference, okay? Okay. So this is our poppy. So this scarf, ladies, is 100% silk twill. It's got a beautiful weight to it. It's about, I would say, 35 by 35 inches, mm -hmm. the, the measurement of the scarf, and it's Three twenty-five dollars. It's a, it's an investment piece. It's beautiful, but it's absolutely stunning. Okay. Give you that. Another half. Okay, so you folded it twice. I yeah. just pull. No, just pull small like this. Mm -hmm. Get something like this. And I let the poppy because I want to show this poppy. Yeah. So. Put in the bag. So you have the poppy behind you, yes. yes? Okay. Okay, one short and one long. Okay. okay. So what you have to do is put like this mm -hmm. on top. Make a loop. We're gonna have to do another video specifically on this on yes, this because it's 
and then you tie. Maybe it's not perfect right now, but. But okay, so you were an airline stewardess. Used to. <laughs> yes, which means so this comes naturally to Sandra. And Deborah also. And Deborah also. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Deborah, I didn't know. Yeah. For a short oh. while. Yeah. Okay. So. so there. Okay, so now you're extending the flower over the shoulder. Mm -hmm. You can mm. extend the flowers. So whatever. Here you are. Beautiful. That's beautiful, Sandra. It's, and I like beautiful. the way the poppy is uh, uh -huh. accentuated over there. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. <laughs> I was just looking at uh, uh, Sandra and I was thinking of Marlene. Marlene would say, you know, when you go out to dinner and you're sitting down, all you, <laughs> <laughs> you want to frame the face, okay? So yeah. that's what Sandra did, and that is what I am doing in my own little way here with the Venice scarf. So you yeah. saw it on, um, Kirsten. on Kirsten, and she wore it with the oatmeal top. So I'm wearing it with the, uh, the teal. And uh -huh. it's equally pretty because, again, it has that blend of neutrals and, and high-impact colors. So I did want to do a collar look here, mm -hmm. okay? So again, for me, keeping it away from the neckline, but just accentuating, changing the look, yeah. basically, of the neckline, okay? So, and may I just say something? Yes. Because I've had a lot of questions about this steel top, okay? It yes. doesn't show vibrantly on our pictures yes and people keep asking is it as beautiful and as vibrant when you actually see it yes it yes, is it ladies is. it's a lovely shade it's vibrant and yes. it's far better looking in person yes. than it does on our picture on the website, on the website. i noticed that as well okay. you know so it's one of those things yeah. right mm -hmm. So how do you how do you achieve if you you know these scarves are again you know they have a nice size to them but you can really minimize them so all you do is that you roll it roll it roll it roll it so you end up with this okay then you double it up and you just put your edges through the loop over the loop and under and then then you manipulate it and I like to put it on the side and as Lorraine okay, may have mentioned, you have a side part. You want to kind of continue that line going yeah. on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So very, very easy to do. And this and is really an easy way. Most people could do this quite easily. Yes, exactly. Right. Reminding you, don't keep your scarves in your drawers. Bring oh, them no. out to play. Bring them out for sure. Because right? it's such a wonderful accessory. It is. It's a stylish accessory. And here again is the uh, Venice Canal. It's beautiful, Elaine. Isn't that beautiful? It really is. And again, it ties in your uh, Chicago jeggings. Exactly. Beautifully. Exactly. So as we speak about colors and combination of colors, you may know that uh, for the next few Wardrobe Wednesdays, we will be spotlighting color combinations, how to create a capsule wardrobe based on a neutral color. So tomorrow, we're starting with, guess what? Guess what? Marlene's favorite color. <laughs> exactly. Black. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we have to start with black. I mean, right? it's, a, it's a favorite color for many people. It's a go-to color. People. So why not start with black, right? Exactly. Yeah. So we'll start with black. We'll style it up. We'll break up the black and we'll have lots of fun. So we hope you can enjo uh, join, join us. Join us. Yeah. Did you enjoy today's video? And Deborah, thank you so much for oh, be being behind the scenes and helping pleasure. us out here. It was my wonderful. pleasure. And as you may know, you can shop all of the scarves. They're beautiful for you. They would make a beautiful gift item for Christmas. I know um, the holiday season. Yeah. Pardon me. Um, and because we do ship uh, internationally. Absolutely. Uh, and this collection would be found on our thing. I've seen on social media. Yes. Look for that and you will find all the scarves and all the accessories and all the clothing too. Yes. So okay. bye. Ciao for now. And enjoy, and we'll see you tomorrow. See you okay? tomorrow. Have a Adios. good day, ladies. Bye.